okay this is simon i'm back once again with another video on sk media 7. if today is your first time watching this video today is another day that the lord has given to us and today we are moving into different things altogether and please and please yes i want you to subscribe i want you to subscribe for me and share this video as many as you can after subscribing you like the video as well and share and comment as well so you know today we are about to look at how to produce washing powder washing powder the one that we use in our various houses that we use to wash and all that our washing soap or washing powder whatever you call it that is what we we are about to produce now so for me not to waste much of your time let's look at some of the things that will be needed so i have here this is called uh, soda ash powder soda ash powder this is called soda ash powder it's the same as this this one also is soda ash powder mm -hmm. so these are some of the ingredients or the materials that we will be needing to produce the uh, washing powder and when you look at this one too this one is called uh, tezapon or bees tezapon or bees you can call it tezapon or bees any name that you call it it's perfect so tezapon or bees so we need this one also the reason why this one is i've used it i've used part of it that is why i type it and put it here so we need this one also and this is uh, our perfume the perfume that we're using for the uh, washing powder and this the name of this perfume is called Gladys it's called Gladys they have different different type of perfume mm -hmm. so we need this one also and this one is called rice powder rice powder and we need this one also and as you can see this one is called preservative this one is uh, is called preservative that is what to let the product will last longer when you don't, you don't use it, this is what will make the product last longer. So the two is what preservative. And we will need our colors also. The colors. This one is blue color. This one is yellow color. So we will need the color as well. You see, when you you, you buy the washing powder, sometimes you can see some uh, different different colors in it. So we'll be showing you how it all come about. So. These are the things that will be needed to produce the washing powder or powdered soup. And we will need our hand gloves as well because this is chemical. We can't just use your bare hand to do the stirring. So we we'll put on the, our hand gloves before we can use it to uh, stir the uh, powdered soup. So as you can see, I have my nose mask here as well. This, the reason why I'm using the nose mask is not because of the COVID, not because of the COVID, but because of the chemical, especially the soda ash powder. It is chemical. When it gets into your head or your nose, it, it can give you severe headache or cold. That is why I have to present, prevent myself with the nose mask. So I will also need scissors here. These scissors, I also need scissors. So. <laughs> This is what we need. We need it. We are needing for the production of the washing powder. The reason why I'm using the uh, scissors is that this everything we have here is chemical, so you don't need to use your teeth to bite anything. So we use the scissors rather than using our teeth. So for me not to waste my time, let's get into the production. First, I have to tighten my. I use my most max. Uh, okay, let me do it like this so that you can hear me clearly. Mm -hmm. So, this uh, the question on how to produce the washing powder. So, just put on your and hand gloves nicely before you touch any chemicals. 
you know, with the hand gloves, is left with only two. I put it in my face, so I don't know that it's only two that is left. So we we'll use the two, but for me not to waste it, I'll leave this hand. So now what we we'll do is just pour our soda ash powder. We we'll cut it like this nice. And it's like I left something here. This is our bowl. The bowl, the reason why I'm using plastic bowl is that this is chemical. So when you use metal, the metal will reduce the strength of the production or the product. That is why I'm using the plastic bowl. So you just pour it here. soda ash powder into the, the bowl what we will need now is our base or tether pump okay, our base or the tether pump so we just cut it <coughs> you don't pour it at a go you just pour a little like this then you stir, you stir it with your hand Hmm. If you can cook them, I now do so. Now they are mixed. You mix it with your hand. This is the reason why you don't need to use your bare hand. You stir it like this nicely. Right. So now we use our everything is mixed together and when you are using you are producing washing powder um, liquid soap you will need a tether pump but you will not need the soda ash powder so <coughs> after this video we also produce or uh, do our washing The reason why I'm using the base is that the base is foaming uh, material. This is what <coughs> made the washing powder foaming. Mm -hmm. This tesapon or base will make the, uh, the washing powder foaming. Okay. So, whilst you are watching, just drop your comment. What you don't understand, just drop your comment and ask any question at all. Ask any question you want to ask. Question there, and I said, I won't say, I there. Mm -hmm. 
don't know if you can hear me well. If I put on the new snacks. So if you can't hear me well, I have to speak louder, you know. So you can say the turn of it. You can mix it nicely like this. Mix everything. Let me do this off, you know. So the leftover, I don't know what I will do. So this is what we call the beans or the tether corn. Mix it nice like this. So now we pour two materials, which is the solar ash powder and tether corn or the beans. This is what we are mixing together. We mix it by 10 15 minutes for everything to mix nicely or well. So now we will need our uh, preservative for it not to spoil. We will need our preservative. So we just pour only one. Okay. Then we stir. No one will know fine. There is heat here, so forgive me, okay? Watch <laughs> Mix it with the 